Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another pick a card reading. Who's coming towards you? I'm going to make this the first episode, okay? Because I'm going to be doing this in episodes, okay? So, if this episode, this first episode of Who's Coming Towards You, if any of these messages doesn't resonate with you, then maybe the second episode will, okay? So, just keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading, okay? Take the little bits and pieces that resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else. So, we got three piles, Green Adventuring. We got black tourmaline, and then we got the clear quartz. So, as usual, I'm going to put the timestamps down below in my description box, okay? So, let's just get into the first episode of Who's Coming Towards You. Enjoy. Okay, you guys, so for those of you who picked the first pile, my green adventuring stone, let's go ahead and get into your reading, and let's see who's coming towards you. All right, we got meditation brings answers. Wow, we have the seats. So this is who's coming towards you. Maybe you need to pray and kind of meditate and, um, yeah, kind of like meditate, like maybe sit back and fill this person out before you take any sudden action with this person because we do have deceit. So there's definitely a deception going on here with this person. And this is the person who's coming forward towards you. So, And I always look at this deceit card as like somebody may be swindling you out of your money or, I mean, y'all know tax season is, is, is popping. <laughs> so this person is very deceitful though. Like very sneaky type of energy I'm getting, okay? So, and I always, like I said, I always look at this card as somebody trying to swindle you out of your money <clears throat> okay um so this is who's coming towards you let's see yeah we have adjacent possibilities this is somebody who has a lot of options or a lot of yeah i'm getting like because every time i see this adjacent possibilities there's a lot of doors that are open okay so this person they may have a lot of options here is what i'm getting let's see what else do we have we got the sun Wow. So you guys meditating and not jumping like head first, like not jumping into something with this person. Yeah, because I'm getting with the sun card and the meditation brings answers. The sun here is, or the shining light, you know, is kind of standing out to me. So I feel like spirit is going to shed some light on this person and their deceitful ways. OK, so try not to jump head first into this situation because it could go so many different ways with the adjacent possibilities. This person may be good at what they do as well. OK, so I'm getting like you meditating, um, you meditating and kind of like connecting with your spirit guides and meditating. I feel like it's, there's some light that's going to be shed here on this person. Um, Let's see what else do we have. We got the five of pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting like really be careful with your money. Again, I'm going back to this deceit card. Okay, like I said, this is somebody who could be swindling you or trying to swindle you out of your money. And they could be very good at what they do. That's why spirit is saying for you to meditate. And I feel like spirit is going to shed some light on this person. They're going to let you know what this person is all about. But I'm getting with the five of pentacles. This is... um. A lack of stability. This person is not stable. They may be in it for money. I mean, this is who's coming towards you. So just be aware. We got the page of swords. So they are spying. They're spying on you with the page of swords. Wow. And we got the moon. Yeah, that's definitely what I was getting. I told y'all I love this moon in this deck because this is the goddess. And she has that crone in her hand. And it's like, it's like spirit, like leading the way for her. It's like lighting and making things clear for you to see. Yeah. I feel like this person, they're not to be fucked with, or they're like, they're really good at swindling people and manipulating people. And I feel like they're watching you. I feel like this could be surrounding money, finances. They could be having a hard time financially. I'm just getting somebody being very deceitful. Um, so, um, the number 25 and 24 could be significant for you. That could be somebody's age as well. But I want to read this deceit card, this 20, number 25. Yeah, hidden tactics and fucking manipulation. Like I was saying before, this person has a hidden motive, hidden tactics, and they're very good at what they do. Okay, this card comes to you as a warning that there may be some deception going on in your life. The person hiding behind the curtains is... 
likely someone you know or dealt with either personal personally personal or professionally um this duplicity could be regarding a personal issue like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others okay and we also got the page of swords so this could be like communication them talking shit about you or I'm getting like a hidden agenda, them having plans of what they want to do and how they're going to manipulate you and how they're going to take your money with the five of pentacles. So you really need to be careful. And this is who's coming towards you. But anyway, back to um, the uh, information we have. Um, or it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated. Be aware of what's going on in your life. A man behind the curtain is... A man behind the curtains is holding a bag of something valuable. So watch your money. Like I said, watch your fucking money because this person is very deceptive. And they're very good at swindling money out of people. Okay? That's the first thing that popped in my head when I seen this deception card. Um, it says, so watch your money and your good name and make sure you have all the information you need to keep things honest and secure. And that's where I feel like this energy of you meditating and really sitting and having that like time that that uh, that time with your spirit guys, they're going to be shedding light on this person here because I'm getting like a shedding light. And even with the moon, you know, it's like there's something hidden that hasn't been seen yet. And with that, with this moon here, this goddess, this could be spirit as well, holding that crone. It's going to lead the way and light some shit up for you. So you can see just exactly who you're dealing with. Um, Let's see. Oh, somebody mad because I'm spilling all they motherfucking tea. Um, It says a deeper layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Um, Is is there something that you're lying to yourself about in this case? It could be that person lying. Um, the bag of value of values may be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, and even uh, lecture time. Whether it's about your life or yourself, remember that the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your energy is... Um, shrouded in self-deceit so this person is going to have a hard time and i say that because we have meditation brings answers spirit is not playing they're not going to be sending you anybody that's being very deceptive and sneaky and manipulating it's like spirit is going to be shedding lights and also with the sun card this talks about abundance finances you know this is the most positive card in the whole entire deck and so you could be like moving forward with your career a lot of great things could be happening for you and somebody is watching sitting back trying to manipulate plot and fucking scheme okay so just be aware that this person is not right um oh my goodness you guys this is interesting yeah somebody is watching you but i feel like spirit is going to be letting you know who this person is um, you could be dealing with an air sign. I'm getting with the page of swords. This is somebody who's young and mature. Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But somebody, like, they're going through some sort of financial, uh, lack at this time. And like I said, we got adjacent possibilities. And again, thank you so much, Spirit, for pointing this out to me. We got the sun and the adjacent possibilities. So you could be, like new things are happening for you new doors are opening for you and this person is just sitting back watching seeing how they can manipulate you okay yeah so i really feel like you need to go with your intuition with this moon energy but i feel like as long as you stay grounded and meditate do your meditation and really sit in a quiet area and be able to tap into that spirit is going to show you that this person is not fucking right and that's what i'm getting okay um yeah, so we got air energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got the moon, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Leo here, but I feel like with the sun card and this adjacent possibilities, this is just you. I feel like this is spirit saying like you are on to bigger and better things. You have a lot of great things happening for you and a lot of doors are about to open up for you. And so this is kind of like their shot to come in and manipulate things and swindle you out of your fucking money. And we're not going to do that. We ain't having that not 2020 okay so yeah this is what i'm getting you just need to be really careful of your finances i'm getting a masculine energy wanting to manipulate you and take advantage okay so 
If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, you guys. For those of you who chose pile two, my black tourmaline. I love this stone. It's for protection. Okay? Protect you from the evils of the world. Um, so for those of you who chose pile two, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Who's coming towards you? We have let go. Could have been somebody that you let go of, okay? We have, oh, the door to value. Wow. <laughs> we have appreciation. Wow. Who's coming towards you? Wow. Interesting. We got the justice card. We got the king of cups. We got the world. And we got the karma card. <clears throat> Okay, reaping what you have sown here. I don't know why I'm getting like somebody. This person is very financially stable. Um, this person, whoever this person is, man, they have a lot of love for you <laughs> with this king of cups. Their emotions are like they have a lot of maybe an emotional attachment to you. Okay. Um, I feel like they appreciate you. This is a female energy here. I feel like this female energy could be you. Um, they are like, just kind of like, <clears throat> they're happy and they are very appreciative of you. Like, that's what I'm getting. Interesting. So this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We do have the justice. This talks about a second chance. So with this let go card, this could have been someone that you've let go of in the past. <laughs> could have separated went your separate ways okay maybe you guys um maybe this person separated or maybe you guys separated to go off on your own journey as far as like like your money is concerned your career is concerned we got door to value so this person is very financially stable um i feel like this person they definitely could be somebody from your past yeah, I'm getting like maybe this was a um a chapter in your life that has been closed out or that has already came to a completion here. This person definitely could be wanting a second chance. Maybe they had to get their money or finances together. We do have the karma, so this could be like a um something has not yet been completed though. I feel like I, I don't I really don't want to say this is like a karmic situation. But I feel like maybe the relationship that you had with this person was very quick. It was over before it even started. Maybe you guys didn't really get a chance to really get to know each other. But I feel with the karma card, this is like... I feel like with the karma, there's something that's being like... That's something that's coming back around again. That's what I'm getting, like... Yeah, because I don't feel any, I don't feel any, any like negativity, um, but I'm getting like something like a, like a second chance. Something is coming back around here. This person may be coming back around to you again for the second time, wanting to do things right. Because I feel like with the let go card, you could have let go of this person and now they're like, Looking at how much they, like, appreciate you. They could see value in you is what I'm getting. Okay. But I feel like with the justice card, this person wants a second chance. They want things to be fair and balanced. Maybe in the past, things weren't balanced. Things weren't fair between you guys. And I feel like, like, a parting ways. Like, separating. <clears throat> and now you guys are being brought back together by the universe. So this definitely could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be a Libra with the Justice card. But I feel like you were already, you've already dealt with this person a time before. Like you've already dealt with them. But the situation came to an end or completion and you went your separate ways and then now this person is coming back. Now for some, this could be like a karmic relationship karmic situation but i'm not really getting any negativity because i'm getting like this person is valuing you like they're seeing the value in you 
and they have a lot of love for you. They could be wanting marriage as well. Okay. Um, you guys could have been in no contact for like a, a year is what I'm getting. But this person, yeah, so this person is like, they're balanced now. So that I feel like they want to come forward to give this relationship another shot. And that's the energy that I'm getting. And I also feel like with them coming forward towards you, it's like this is going to be like another chance to build something stable. Like, because I feel like they could be financially stable. You could be financially stable. And they're just wanting this to work. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. Wow. They could want marriage or they could want things to lead to marriage here. I feel like this is like a reboot. Like, for some some strange reason. This is, this is definitely like a, rebo a reboot. Like, doing something over again. Let's try this out again. All right. So we got water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got air energy, Libra. I mean, it could be any sign because we do have the world here. I'm getting Leo. Okay. Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like they see some sort of value in you and... They feel like this would be like a new opportunity for you to, you know, get together. Because I feel like in the past it didn't work for some reason. Maybe due to you guys wanting to travel your own path, getting financially stable. But I'm getting now like they want, it's like a resurface. Like they want to do this again. They want to try it out again to see if it's going to work. And this person could be more mature now as well. <clears throat> okay, so that's what I have for you. Um, if this one resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, you guys, last but not least, for those of you who chose the clear courts, the last pile, pile number three, let's see who's coming towards you. We got not the right time. Wow. We got financial constraints. Somebody is really having a hard time financially, so they may not want to pop up and be in your face if they broke. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but that's what this seems like to me. Somebody going through a lot of hardships financially. So, you know, we got journey. Wow. Who's coming towards you? Well, um, so we got the three of pentacles. Yeah. It's a work situation. Somebody really trying to get grounded. Somebody's really trying to work on their financial situation. So whoever this person is, I feel like they, they may feel as if right now is not the right time for them to embark on this new journey for them to pack up and come forward towards you because their money is not right. They're focusing on their work. How can they be more stable here? We got the strength card. Yeah, somebody is struggling. We got the page of wands and we got the two of cups. Yeah. So this could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with or somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you, but they're not grounded. Okay. They could be looking off on the, on a journey, looking for a job. I'm getting like a job, <laughs> three of pentacles. I mean, this is like so clear cut and dry. So whoever's coming fo forward towards you, I feel like they're not coming as of right now because they're focused on their money. They're struggling. They're trying to really, uh, ground themselves and really focus on their money, their stability. Like, I don't mean no harm, but this person is smart because if I want to get with somebody, I'm not going to come to them broke. Like, no, you know, that's not how this thing goes. <laughs> how, how are we going to pay for dates? How are we going to, you know, if I want to take you out to eat, how am I going to be able to pay for that? You know? So this person may feel as though like right now is not the right time for them to come forward because they are really focused on their money. They're focused on their finances. They're trying to figure out their stability, you know? Yeah, so I feel like eventually they will be coming forward, but I really feel like right now they're not grounded enough. They're not financially stable enough to have a relationship. And even though they may want to with the page of wands, they may want to send you a message. They may be feeling as if they can handle this, but this person may be one of the types of people that, you know, like 
I'm not going to say that. Okay, I'll say I'll say that. Pay to play. Like you have to pay to play. Period. Like nobody wants to be with the broke woman. Nobody wants to be with the broke man. What can you provide? You know, what can can you take me out on a date? You know, that type of thing. Like, can we go out for drinks? Can you take me to the amusement park? Like, what can you do? Can you buy me a soda? You know, that's the type of energy I'm getting. Like, so this person is really like really they could be very down to earth and they know that they can't come forward towards you without something stable you know at least have your own and at this time I feel like they're not financially straight like they're not they're not where they want to be that's the energy that I'm getting so I feel like maybe hmm I can't even put a time limit on this because they're they could be like out trying to find a job, trying to find work, you know, they definitely could be filling out applications and different things like that, but they're really having a hard time with their finances and their money. So as of right now, I don't feel like they're going to be taking any action towards you. Um, even though this person wants to be in a partnership with you, they want to like, you know, and they may see you flourishing. They may see you on your new journey and <clears throat> working and trying to be stable and different things like that. But they're not where you are at this point. So right now, Spirit is saying it's not the right time. They know that this is not the right time for them to come forward, okay? Um, <clears throat> due to their finances. Like, nobody wants to be around someone that they want to be in a relationship with and they're broke, broke down, broken, and, you know, they're not financially stable, period. Any real person, any real man wouldn't want to be in a relationship with somebody with somebody if they don't have their shit together. OK, so that's what I'm getting with this. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo. This could be a Leo, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But that's what I have for you. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.